Okay. Let me think if I can interrupt with something else. God. Hello, though. Welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for joining us for our uh, unboxing video. These have become some of the best things that I think we do. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I receive a brand new game that has astounding production quality, I bring Sean and Max along to ooh and ah along with me. Really, we just show up. And today, well, that's yeah, that is accurate. <laughs> Today, we uh, we have Honey Buzz, a 100% organic strategy game. This like is a it. worker bee placement game from Elf Creek Games, who have a history of some of the highest production quality in the industry. Pretty. And so this is, uh, and I believe this is currently in the process of being fulfilled to backers. I don't think they've started shipping yet. I think we're right ahead of that curve so we can produce some content, get people excited about it, uh, you know, direct people to, you know, click on the link or whatever to go pre-order this game if they want a copy of it for themselves. Uh, but that being said, the most important thing, the thing we have to do before we can do any of that is, is open this thing up. I thought you were gonna say read flavor text. It's, well, there's going to be flavor text in here that we will discover along the way, Mac. That, that is how this works. And I did just flip this over, and we have a tiny bit of flavor text. That's what I was looking top. for. That's what I was looking for. Spring has sprung in the sweet, sweet, la, 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 la. <laughs> You'll get su it. Su 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 Don't worry about it. Su 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 Spring has sprung in the Sweetwater Grove. The flowers are booming. The bleed. Booming? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see. I had my eyes give me, closed. Look, <laughs> listen, <laughs> give me one more, one more do try. Your warm ups. You gotta do your and warm ups. <laughs> <laughs> Spring has sprung in the Sweetwater Grove. The flowers are blooming, the bees are buzzing, and the bears are getting awfully hungry. Mm. Is a honey stand really the key of, to peace and prosperity between all the woodland creatures? It just may a be. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like that. So, in Honey Buzz, the bees have discovered economics, and the queen has devised a plan to corner the bear, to corner the bear market. <laughs> You've been entrusted to manage a portion of the hive to produce honey and improve the bee economy. Sell this honey in bulk to the bear market or fulfill specific orders placed by woodland critters. Forage, build, produce, and sell all the while vying for the queen's favor. When the market closes, be the player with the most money and you'll be rewarded with a victory most sweet. It didn't even do the B I know, there. but you just took the, the liberty of doing it yourself. Listen, Max, we're going to cut a seam in the side of this box because I am excited to open this up. And just like any of our flavor, or not flavor text, unboxing. just like any of our unboxing videos, we are familiar enough with this game to not only show off and talk about uh, what we're pulling out, but also discuss like how the game plays and how things piece together as we're pulling it out of the box. So it's closer to an overview than just a straight unboxing just didn't want to oh i messed it up i messed wow. it up I'll wow take, I'll i thought he was quietly. gonna get it that time i thought he was gonna get we it. we cut that a time. seam in the side of the box and then we'd be respectfully quiet for you the viewer This is the core box, and then we also have the deluxe components, the wooden coins, and the honeypot over here, which are all going to be uh, extra upgraded elements that fit into or magnify. I like this. I love me a honeypot. Yeah, honeycombs. That was satisfying. Sounded like a tornado. Nice box. A mile and a half away. Becombs in the center. Yeah, Give that see. a feel. That's, That's a, a solid feel. box. Let me see the becombs. Oh, look oh, at nice. that. Wow. <laughs> Uh, go ahead and start pulling that open. Those are going to be absolutely adorable. I believe these are going to be upgraded. So when I was reading about this game, I was like, I know why Jex Jesse likes this, because there's rats, raccoons, mice. Patented bag of baggies. Ooh, That's an important thing. Oh, yeah. Gotta Max, have it. If you pocket that. <laughs> I, I think I've taken enough in the past few weeks that I don't need any more. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Some more components. Oh, you're going to like these. Mm, is it squishy or is it hard I, plastic? Well, let's see, because I know I've felt the upgraded components. I'm curious about the ones that are in here. Oh, look look oh, at how squishy. Look at how they don't want to come out oh, of the bag. Oh, that's satisfying. <laughs> are they squishy? <gasps> they're squishy. No. They're not just squishy. They are they feel like resin. They do. Whoa. Those are cool. Isn't that nice? Oh, that and these are the normal? Yeah. Wow. This is the normal component? I believe so, yeah. Isn't that nice? Just a little, it feels like, it feel like slightly harder honey. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I what should just try any one you, of these. Why are you opening stuff up and I'm showing things Sean, up? Sean, we're not playing look yet. Look at these adorable <laughs> bears. Just, look at these, look at the artwork. Look the at these animals. animals. No, we've already done that once. 
<laughs> so these, Disney's already coming after Quackalo Max. That or Paula Deming. One of them is going to come after us. So, so these are all going to be the orders that we're trying to fulfill as we're building out. So there's a bit of set collection in this game uh, as you're building out. There's a bit of tile placement as you're building out your comb, uh, getting different types of uh, pollen to make different types of honey, and then that results in the different types of product that you're selling to mm -hmm. your various animal uh, connoisseurs. Mostly bears. Now, we were talking about having a duck promo at one point, but oh. ducks don't specifically eat honey, and they made sure that all the animals depicted on Thematically. here actually consume oh. honey. So we're gonna have hey. to figure out a way for a quackalope oh, to be included in some Dude, form. Do you eat honey? Possums. I mean, you- Look at the baby possums oh getting gosh, their honey. Adorable. You have control over that, do you not? I don't have control over the biological and <laughs> ornithological nature of a quackalope. Um, there is research that needs to be done, but I don't know why you'd assume that I have direct control over an entire species that's been around for a millennium. The quackalope is not real. Shut up. <laughs> How dare you? Dude, you has really, got the horn over there. I'll be honest, you had me going for a minute. I was like, do I say that? Is a quackalope real? Yeah. Oh, it is. No, it's not. Dude, yeah. You had me going, though. I mean, we have a part of our webpage that is de dedicated to the lore and history of the quackalope. Right, I mean, but you made it living. up. I don't make things up. You just did. These components are awesome. Aren't those nice? We got little I bees. I really like them. Bees, oh, the buzz. Those. So these are gonna be the wooden components. All right, quality. Little, little buzzing wooden bees. I like the pink bees and the green bees. But these, I believe, are going to be swapped out in the mm -hmm. deluxe components when we start pulling that out. Look, did you see that possum? I did, I love the possum. What else did you find? You found oh. a raccoon, oh, found some goldfish. All the artwork is awesome. Look at this little squirrel stirring the honey pot. This is nice, nice rule book. It has, check uh, out the front page, has that plasticky. Well, the, the components. Text. Okay. Oh, you want to check? I was just making sure that, yeah, I mean, that's this is the normal book, and they've got those. So I just, okay. Yes, sir. That's that's cool. Yes, sir. Uh, I've already read mm -hmm. this first part. Uh, I believe I've already read the second part. Uh, Have you read any of that? I'm not sure. I don't think you've read any of it. I'm not sure. Well, while I pull things out, feel free to give it a swing. Okay. Spring has sprung in the woods of Sweetwater Grove. Yeah, that is but nice. something Good. is different this year. The bees have discovered economics. The queen has a plan to open a stand in the woodland market. If the bees sell their honey, maybe the bears and other woodland creatures will leave the hive alone, and the bees will find peace and prosperity at last. In Honey Buzz, you are one of Her Majesty's accountants, entrusted to efficiently manage your own portion of the hive and worker bees. By assigning your worker bees to expand the hive, you will create empty cells for storing different nectars. Eventually, those nectars will produce honey, which you can sell at the bear market or use to complete orders. Which one of you will become the chief architect of the queen's new economy? Prove your value to her majesty by working wisely and strategically, and don't forget to compete in the queen's contests. At the end of the game, Whoever has made the most money wins and is appointed the head of the new economic empire. You're beautiful. Stop. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so what I've pulled out here, first off we have some punch board. Nice cardboard, right? Yeah, it seems fairly thick. Give that a, give that a judgment oh, call. Oh yeah. That's a solid two Punches and a half well. millimeters. Solid, uh, solid bit of cardboard. Now this is going to be our main player board. Here you're going to have the marketplace where you're going to be selling product to the different uh, to the different uh, connoisseurs. These are going to be different areas where these honeycomb tiles go. So if we want to punch a few of those, look, punch board's so good you would have never even known that I punched it because it fits so nicely. Oh, it's true. Back in its spot. So these will pop up here, um, and you will be using your worker bee placement element. Stop. It said to... unused throw away. Okay, great. Uh, then you did it appropriately. So you'll be using your worker bees. <laughs> to fly up here and That's collect stone. and build different parts of your uh, hive. The interesting thing about this is there's going to be a tile placement element uh, that goes into exactly how you can construct your hive. There's Doesn't like, that factor into your actions that you create that you it can It does, take? it does, because these will be the, uh, these will be some of the these reference cards be? that you have. <laughs> Wildflower, cherry blossom, rosemary, and uh, asia. Uh, you also have forage, produce, market, newbie, decree, and accounting. Those are all the actions that you can take on your uh, on your turn, and these little parts of your honeycomb, depending on what you're activating, will be determining uh, what actions you can actually take. Um, so it has, I mean, it has a really interesting little mixture there. You're just going for it. 
I'm wow. sitting here trying to do it. It said deluxe. That's it said well, deluxe. Do it. Open it up then. The honey pot. Oh, is look for at that me. first player marker that you were just tapping on Max. Yeah, that's with. way cooler than that one. So I could really like I could I need a mini pot. Yeah, oh, you could legitimately. Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness, look at these tiles now. Okay, so the honey does not get upgraded. Which is fine, because it shouldn't yeah. be. No. I don't think so. No, it shouldn't. This is totally good. These are going to be... Uh, oh, nice. Instead of different, this? Different types of honey that you're selling Way instead of those. Way nicer, instead yeah. Of those. Feel them, too. They're heavy. These are going to be tiles. the wildflower tiles. Okay, the my tiles. kids will probably eat most of these components. It all looks like candy, <laughs> man. So Wait, we're not supposed to eat these? <laughs> yeah, no. I don't know. So the cool, the cool thing about this is this is going to be a little bit of a memory aspect. Okay. Mm. Where you're going down here and trying to collect the right type of uh, honey, oh, honey to produce the sure. you know, right right type uh, of pollen, pollen to produce yeah. the correct type of honey. And that'll be populating all of this little wildflower place down it's here. It's really these, these gorgeous, nice. man. Yeah. That almost looks like a Are those like fuzzy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. They're flocked. Wow. That's what, Aren't those cool? That's what Funko would say at least, but that's probably patented. Just tiny, tiny those little fuzzy, really uh, tiny little fuzzy worker bees. Super cute. So is there a point to the Adorable. Uh, I'm not sure I'm about sure the. I'm sure there uh, is, man. There's got to be. It could just be the production of them. Could that could be where they're uh, where they're pinned? I'm not entirely sure. No. I don't know. It's got it. Something else is coming. I don't know. Maybe not. And then we also have these. I'm not sure what these are used for. Maybe point. Uh, I, I was thinking. Well, see, I mean, they match this flower down here, but uh, I was I, thinking potentially point scoring. But who knows? Who nobody could determine? Not, knows. not us. Like we wouldn't be expected to know that element of it. So what are you opening now? I don't know. The woodland coins. Nah, that's mine, man. You can open this. I want to open the honey pot. You already started. There you go, buddy. Alright. Honey pot is for me. Coins. How do these how do these on the bottom? There we go. Oh, you'll get it, buddy. So these are gonna replace the cardboard coins that you have over there? Yes. The ones that have not been punched yet. That we have not punched yet. Nope. Because we don't need to, because we have nice Look sturdy. All those are thick. They are extremely thick. Like me. There's some acorns. Like your quads. Thick with two C's. Wow. We have, we have some leaves. We have some bear. Wow, uh, look at that. Bear paw prints. I like how they get bigger. Paw prints? Paw prints. Paw prints. Five, 20, 20. Like they get bigger in size. Yeah, they're really cool. That's cool. Yeah, I like them. I like wooden components. Yeah, no, that's super nice. Now we've made an entire mess of this. That's what we're supposed table. to do now. I was about to say, isn't I think that so. typical? I think that's about accurate. It's why I enjoy unboxings with you all. So the last thing we have to open here is going to be the honeypot, which I believe is going to come with some extra bonus uh, cards and things like that. Open it up, let's see. I don't know how. You said I made you wanted, fun of you. You said you wanted to open it. I know, and I made fun of him. And now I'm thinking <laughs> it out. You did make fun of me. I got it, don't you worry. Honey buzz. 100% oh. organic strategy, the honeypot. So it's an additional, like, rules too. Okay. It's got some additional. What? Well, let me see. One of protective of I'm protective of the honeypot. The honeypot expansion Ooh. contains new components that you can include in your games of honeybuds. In any combination, some introduce new rules and alter gameplay, while others increase Those the variety dice. that the game has. I bet to you offer. can't guess what I have in my hand. You've got 12 bees. No, two mm -hmm. dice. You got one more chance each. Three ducks. It's a component. It's thematic. Honey. Close. You got one word. Dice. Pot. Yeah, it's a honey <laughs> pot. Would you look? Oh, that's at actually that. really nice. Yeah, I like it. These Pot. dice are incredible. They look like see-through little orange honey stuff. It's really cool. It's a legit little honey pot. This yeah. bag is literally too small for these dice. There we go. <laughs> Those are I don't some large dice. I don't know how these work. I don't know, but this is a perfect size bag for my side gig. I'm gonna take these home. Stop taking <laughs> bags. <laughs> You always take the bags. I swear you just put bags in your pocket as we're filming these things. <laughs> the dice roll. Here, I like them too. They're like an amber yeah. honey. Uh, yeah, totally thematic. Pretty looking. Pretty gorgeous. Honey pots, Ooh. basically. And more forage cards. And forage cards. Awesome. What goes here? Where's the knife? This is not Oh, nice. these go one. here, huh? Maybe? That's kind of small. Sit on the side of the table over here. I don't know if that fits oh. there or not. Either way. Pretty sweet. Maybe that's your reserved. All right, this is a solid like that is four thick. millimeter. That's two C's. Yeah, thick with two C's. Yeah. You're you're dang straight about that one, buddy. Capital T thick. I'm just gonna put these bags in this oh, bag. We got a market rush card. We got some nice little birdies. We got some bats that are going shopping for some honey. <laughs> we got uh, empty cell clusters, Max. What? 
You're such a Yalrus. <laughs> he said it! <laughs> That's it. Decisions and different, uh, different types of ways that you can lay out your honeycomb, I believe, potentially to score or to unlock some abilities or something like that. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. You got a really good peripheral no vision, by the way. idea. How did you see that? I see everything, Max. See? See everything. The camera's How, what, what number am I holding behind your head? head. Three. Wrong. That being it said, it was two. It wasn't. It, camera saw it. You didn't realize I was counting the fingers that were down, not the fingers that were up. That Ooh. would be two Still fingers three. that are down. No, sir. A thumb. <laughs> Good, sir. Debate in the comment section is the thumb considered a finger or is it not? Yeah, it is. No. Yeah. So I was right. That being said, this mess in front of us is. Oh, yeah, honey Munch, we do, cool we do, things. we do have some, we do have some different flavors. I figured we do it at the very end. Yeah, we got some, honey. we got some flavored honeys that was saved here that we'll try. Flavor in just a text, moment. flavor honey. Nah. No. <laughs> no. It, you tried. You I did tried. try. I tried. I'm not starting my own channel anytime soon. <laughs> Listen. All right. If you've watched this, hopefully you've enjoyed this. I, these dumb unboxings have become one of They're my favorite so things to do. Like I said, we'll be bringing some more content about Honey Buzz here to the channel uh, fairly soon, hopefully. I just wanted to go ahead and get it down onto the table and let you all see what is on the way. This is it. This is it, man. You should be excited for it. This is it. What uh, what type of honey do you want to try? I don't want mango, this one. We have mango flavored. We have sour strawberry flavored honey. This is root beer, and I do not oh, want it. I want the root beer. Okay. I want the sour one. Oh, you want the sour one? And what do I got? Cherry blossom or mango? Um, go with mango. What if, and I don't know, you're doing it that way? I don't know. <laughs> I was going to, I was going to cut off the tip and then we just the tip. Yeah. Well, and then if you all wanted to try. Oh, Max is just going all in. <laughs> no, just do the other you side. Try the root beer one? It's not even working. I'll let you cut the other side. Cause this side's not you working. You try the root beer one? I do. I don't like root beer, but. That's interesting. That's not true. I like root beer, just not root beer flavored things. Can we not, can we not, is this, that's the side you bit? Yeah. <laughs> that's actually really good. Yeah, can we just not make sure that it doesn't get all over my uh, game? Yep. Oh, stop <laughs> it. We are gonna have to finish these though. I mean, uh, okay. Which one is this one? Mango. Mm -hmm. Mango, that one's the sour strawberry. Ooh. Mango's interesting. Hit me with your mango. If you're still watching, we're just gonna finish <laughs> eating up honey. Uh, while you have the time to spare, hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you share this video out uh, and I'll let us that. know in the comment section down below. Have <laughs> you... We both. Well, the first one shot over here too. That was. Have you uh, already ordered Honey Buzz? Are you excited for it to arrive? Is this egregious that we're holding honey over top of a game like this? Do you want to try I'm, this? I'm yeah. carefully trying not to squeeze right now. I have not ordered Honey Buzz, and I'm sad that I did not. Uh, Are you giving me a good line? <laughs> Give me a good line. As, as long as you don't seem to like. <laughs> This is the sour one. I'm excited for Whoa. this Whoa. I like sour stuff. That's delicious. That one That's actually is really, really good. good. This one's, so far this one's the best, I think. Yeah. I agree. I like this the sour one's the best. That one's so good. Hold that for me. Go. Oh, we've got Do one all more. Going all three at once. We still got cherry blossom. We've got a cherry blossom to open up. <laughs> yeah, just. Max, <laughs> stop it. Like Wolverine, put them between your fingers and just go. <laughs> they gave these for us, Max, not just for you. Gosh. Wildflower. Can we like, can I be like a little baby bird where I, you all just like. You're gonna let them drip out of the front. <laughs> you Hold come those. over here, do this one. You come over this, here. This is more classic honey now. Cherry blossom? Yeah, well, it didn't say it was flavored. Well, this, is, this is wildflower. This is wildflower. Oh. I thought this was cherry blossom. No, wildflower was the first one. That was a root beer. Oh, one. this is, this is. Cherry blossom. Cherry blossom then. More classic, more classic. Yeah. That's really good though. Cool. So our verdict, uh, the sour. Sour, what, sour strawberries. Acacia, the sour strawberry flavored honey. That's that's going to be the best out of these options. I like the root beer second best. I like the mango second. The root beer is my least favorite, although it was still good. I think all four of them were great. I think as far as I'm concerned, listen. All right, look, rank them one through four listen, right now. Listen. Well, on the drive here, Max has a very defined palate, I found out. That's true. That's true. We talked about this on the way if up. If you're a bee <laughs> and you're looking to sell some bears some honey, we're down. Yes. <laughs> I was also talking Thank about how I was a juicy bear Stop. earlier. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Hopefully you've enjoyed this unboxing video. We're going to go off and play some games, do some more stuff for the channel. Like I said, more stuff coming. Leave a comment down below about how you want one of these two to never be on the show again. And whatever you do. <laughs> Vote. <laughs> remember to do the important. Rank all three of us. <laughs> One through three, right now. <laughs> this this comment section is gonna really hurt some feelings. <laughs> We're gonna go back through and read this. And whatever you do, remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. We'll see you next time. Thank you.